Hey, hey, it's Robin. Hope you're having an awesome start to your day or whatever time of the day is that when you watch this. So I wanted to share with you resistance or the uh, concept of identifying resistance. So as a um, entrepreneur that works from home quite a bit, um, also, ha you know, being a mom, work with our hus my husband, there are lots of different hats that we wear. And I share that because it can hold us back from actually accomplishing the things that we need to. So I share this because I literally just got myself ready um, and I should have got myself ready earlier today and not gonna, you know, I could easily, you know, could have, should have, would have, whatever. But here's the deal, is that I dove into, huh, this morning I knew exactly what I needed to get done today. Now, walking through my house, working from home, here's the challenge. The challenge is if you've identified this 15 minute, 30 minute window, an hour window that you're gonna just knock a bunch of things done. Maybe not a bunch, let's laser focus on one thing, that main thing you need to do. And it's probably the thing that you don't really want to do, but you need to do it. Now, it would be so easy for me to be thinking to myself, well, the kids aren't home right now. Doesn't even matter that, I'll talk about that in a second. But here's my kitchen. It probably could use like me picking up a few things, um, start another load of laundry, I could get distracted so stinking fast. Like I realized this morning that I ran out of dryer sheets when I was moving some laundry and I could easily, easily, because this is how we get distracted, is that I could say, oh, I should just run to the store real quick. And um, because I live in the city right now, I could run to the store real quick so I could keep running some laundry. Y'all, the dryer can still run even if I don't have a dryer sheet or the laundry can wait until later. So the resistance is there's always something distracting you. And I heard a girl, oh, a book that I should have read a long time ago um, that I just started this morning, um, The War of Art by Stephen Peterson, Peterson? I don't think it's right. It's either War of Art or Art of War. But I share this because there's always, if you identify that resistance is the opposite of good, it's Satan, it's devil, it's enemy. And that's the truth because there's something holding you back from that pulling that lever that is just gonna get more done, that's going to move you to the next place in your business and your life. It's gonna help you accelerate. And so, as I mentioned, I could easily get distracted by needing to pick a few things up, etc. Last week, I threw, <laughs> so um, summers are always a little bit interesting at the Beasley House because my husband and I work together. Um, we both are involved in multiple businesses that we work in together. And so it's a matter of like, okay, children, we don't want you to spend the entire summer at camps. We choose that we want them to be around us. And there's a cost to that as well. Now, there's times where we have babysitters. Believe me, there's times where we we have people that are, you know, helping out with the kids. But the reality is, is my children left um, this morning. I took them to summer camp just for the week, um, which they were jazzed about. I'll be honest. I didn't decide. We, my husband and I did not decide they were going to this particular camp until nine o'clock last night. Now that doesn't, all, it's not always an option, okay? That's the reality. If it wasn't supposed to happen, it wasn't gonna happen. So the resistance, maybe not resistance, but the, you know, it wouldn't have happened. I tell you this because you need to make the best yes decisions. On the weekend, there were two different birthday parties we could have gone to on Saturday. My husband made some great points. He's like, should we go to both of them? Do they, does that make sense for us? Long story short, we ended up going to one. We'd only RSVP'd to one. The other one I could have made a last minute probably. But the reality is, is that as a result of us having some business things going on last week, we actually had postponed one of our coaching calls with our executive coach. And so we rescheduled the appointment with our own coach until, uh, until Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. The only reason we could do that is because we had said no to one of the birthday parties. Now, I'm not saying that business needs to like meet up with personal by any means. But by making a decision, by making a best yes decision, we freed up that opportunity. And when I threw my little temper tantrum last week, I said to my husband, I said, there's some things I really want to get done. It's hard with the kids here. I have this guilt. This is all just head junk, right? This is all between my ears. Because there are things that our family wants to accomplish that we want to get done that my kids get. They understand. But I want to say the resistance for me was that I was struggling with a couple things I really wanted off my plate. I, they were just eating me. Like I, every time I wanted to come into my office, I'm like, oh, I got to do that. Oh, I got to do that. It was eating me. And so as a result, I acted out at my husband last week and said, like, stop my foot. I'm like, I need some time in my office. And he's like, how much time? <laughs> he didn't quite yell at that. He's like the most patient person in the world. I need help with self-control. Um, and I was like, well, 
I don't even want to tell you how much time I need. You know, like, I don't want to, you to tell me what I have to do. He's like, no, stop. He's like, how much time do you need to get it done? And that's the question is, a lot of times we resist doing things because we think of how we, we assume, we guess, we get overwhelmed by how long we think it's going to take. The reality is, is the things that I wanted to get done literally could be done in a couple hours. It didn't need to be done in a few days or in a few weeks, in a couple hours. And so my little temper tantrum of like, hey, I need some time in my office also. Um, and again, there's it, it's a balance. Like he's awesome at making sure that that happens. But again, you might not have that support system. So maybe there's somewhere that your kid can go hang out for a day, maybe for a couple hours, trade some help with somebody, um, you know, swap. Now, maybe you don't have kids. Maybe you've got aging, um, you know, aging parents or um, you've got things that you just want to get done in life. You don't want to always be working. The question, the, the big thing I want to share is there is something. I don't know what it is. There is resistance for you holding back from doing something. So I say this because this morning, my kids are at uh, this awesome summer camp right now. I know that this opportunity I need to take advantage of. I need to stay in tip top shape. I don't need to go eat sugar. I don't need to go eat carbs so that I feel poor and I want to sit around and feel sorry for myself because I've, you know, carb loaded and now I'm like struggling to try to have energy to uh, push forward the next couple days with my kids not being home. The other thing is, I could easily get distracted, like I mentioned, by like cleaning my kitchen right now, doing a footload of laundry, yada, yada, yada. No. What is that laser focus? What is that one thing that you need to do right now that's going to move you forward? What is that thing? Now, I have a great workbook that I'm actually going to release here, and it's like got these tools that I use, like getting unstuck from things and identifying what's holding you back. But this resistance, this idea that... um and again, you need to be set up for success. Like I got dressed, I got cute. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Where am I gonna go? I'm gonna record a couple videos. That is what I need to get done right now. And and that is this is one of the things that's on my list this week. Now I could have said, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, but maybe I wouldn't be in the same energy level. Maybe I wouldn't be in the same mindset. And so you need to prepare yourself to take advantage of these little energy bursts because I promise you, this energy is not 100%. You're going to need to recover from this, you know, when you pour your water out, you're gonna have to fill it back up. And it needs to be overflowing for you to be 100%, you know, present to other people also, or, you know, to be able to give back. So that's a lot of crazy all over the page information, but this is just how I think. And again, it's Monday. This is the beginning of the week. It is time for you to kickstart your week. It is time to move the, um, you know, the, the t whatever goal it is that you're wanting to do, you need to move it forward. You need to identify what the next thing is that you need to do. And the question is, what's the resistance that's holding you back from doing it? So I just, I, I'm jumping in here. I, I just felt like I really should share this. It's kind of my behind the scenes. I'm about to do record a couple of videos. Um, I don't always use my um, ring light, um, but I am for these particular videos that I'm about to record. And so I have my, um, just gonna set it up. So what tools do you need to be successful like I ironed a shirt maybe you should have some shirts ironed ready to go um what, what is it that you need to do things and I have this great ring light um I got a, a ring light by newer um I got it on Amazon um I really like it it's a matter of just setting it up I need to clear some move some boards and stuff that I have in my office here so that I can actually do it now get in get out don't drag it out, get the job done and move on to something else. I want you to maximize the time that you have. And that's my husband and I, it's probably a big thing that we say. It's not a matter of having quantity of time, it's having quality of time to do the things you need to do. So the question is, what can you do with the time you have right now? And it's not about what else do I need to know? No, 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 no. You have everything you need to know. You have the tools inside of you, you have the gifts and talents. So let's go. Let's let's make, you know, let's let's move your feet. Take the first step. So um, again, don't get distracted. Um, laser focus. Like if I walk out of this office right now, I'm going to go in here and start cooking or, you know, start cleaning and getting distracted by my kitchen. It's awesome to work from home. It is amazing to work from home, but you have to be laser focused. Now I also heard two other good things I wanted to share. The one thing is getting dressed. Like even if you're not going to record videos, get dressed to come into your office because if you're in your yoga pants or, you know, shorts, which you can wear shorts cute, but I'm just saying like, if you're not feeling like you're in the mindset, then get dressed, put some earrings on, put some lipstick on, put some makeup on, go shower. If you aren't feeling like you're in the groove, stop. 
There is no point in you sitting in your office if you're not going to be productive. Go have a power nap. Go set the timer on your stove for 13 minutes. That's my lucky number. Have a power nap. If 13 is not enough, hit it again. I would suggest not going much over about 20 minutes or else you're going to be sitting there like an hour later still like lethargic trying to get out of it. But um, power naps are great for me. Feel like get, go get some water take a walk around the block or down the street if you are down you know country road if you live in the country um the other thing is put shoes on if you put shoes on which i don't even have on so maybe there's a reason why i just said that when you put shoes on you're more inclined to be in that like business mindset now maybe you don't own a business maybe you're just super mom and you got to pay bills well Go and, or super dad, doesn't even have to be a mom, go and do that right now. Like literally go put some footwear on your feet and I promise you, you're probably likely going to get into a really positive place and you're going to be more productive. Set a timer on your phone, um, 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, write it down. So I don't know, it's probably about 1130-ish right now. Let's quickly look here. It's 1136. So take a piece of paper and on the back of your piece of paper, write the time, 1136. Now set your timer for 30 minutes and at the end of that 30 minutes, identify, were you productive? I'm not saying you have to like, do you hire or fire yourself after that 30 minutes? No, but if you don't have any measuring stick to determine whether or not you were productive in that 30 minutes, how do you know? And so the time can just go away. The clock can just run. And if you don't identify and, and measure your progress, so you know what your one thing that you're going to laser focus on, set your timer for that 30 minutes. And then after the 30 minutes goes up, just say, hey, did I, did I start you know, to do what I needed to do towards that one laser focus thing? So that was a lot of little time efficiency, uh, personal efficiency hacks. Um, it's Monday, max it out. It is going to be an awesome week. I don't know about, I know there's lots of people that are getting ready for summer vacation and everything else, but it's a matter of quality time, quality efficiency. It's not always about working harder. It's about working smarter and more efficiently. Have an amazing day. Can't wait to hear um, which one of these tips and tricks uh, may have resonated with you the best. Can't wait to hear what you're working on. See you later.